Yeah, good evening, everyone. I hope I'm audible to everyone. Am I audible, please? Yes, yes. Yeah. We welcome you all to this first talk show by Bharat MD Foundation, a feature which we hope to bring to you regularly in the months ahead. We have with us today Ms. Anu, Mrs. Anu Bakshi, a caring, devoted mother of Yash, who is 28 year old DMD warrior. Always cheerful, full of energy, and with a great sense of humor. Anuji is not only a photographer and nature lover, but also has a flair for writing. Born in Chandigarh, her father was in the, an army officer and mother a homemaker. She has a brother and sister, and she lived for a decade in Zambia as her father was posted there. She studied in Matter Day Convent School in Delhi from class seven. She did Japanese honors from JNU and worked in Hyatt's agency. Married at the age of 23, she quit working once her son Yash was born. She also has another son who is 25 years old. She moved to Mumbai as her husband was posted there and then to Hyderabad in the year 2006. Her son Yash was diagnosed with DMD at the age of three plus and thus began her journey dealing with DMD. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you, Sarda, Rama, the Bharat MD Foundation for giving me this opportunity and for your gracious words in the introduction. Apologies to everyone in advance. If I'm not up to the mark and I'm being repetitive or seeing my notes, because this is a very first for me. As already said, I shall not be discussing medication trials or treatments um, or any possible trials. My only journey with Yash is what I have for you today and what is important. And I hope that you are able to take some points from whatever I have learned through this journey. And I've highlighted certain points which I'd like to share with you. Um, and then later on, of course, I can answer the questions uh, in Hindi also. But right now, I'd like I'm comfortable with the English. So my first point is hope. My Yash is an intelligent, happy young man with a fighting spirit. At the age of three and a half, when he was diagnosed with DMD, uh, we were obviously given a life expectancy of the early teens at that time. Yash is now 28 years old. So it's very important to keep the hope alive. And I think this is the biggest thing that you all should carry with you, that there is hope no matter what. The second point is count your blessings. After the biopsy and the confirmation of the DMD, uh, we were heartbroken, devastated, and our world came tumbling down. And like everybody, we went through the why me syndrome. Uh, we were able to, as a family, cope up and get out of this only because of our parents, our siblings, our family, our friends, extended family, who till date and till now continue to support us. Um, I'm grateful for a loving husband and encouraging and caring in-laws strength to carry on. Uh, are you able to hear? Because I'm getting some notification saying that the coverage is not there. Yeah, we can hear you, ma'am. Please continue. Oh, in, between, in between her sound went and she was stuck. Yeah. I'm Anita, sorry. Yeah. Ma'am, you can talk. Okay, okay. Your videos are... Okay, and the third is acceptance and purpose. The sooner... Uh, the sooner you accept your situation, Every child is different and there's no right and wrong. You all have to make decisions based on your child, his needs, and whatever your beliefs are. And at that point of the situation, what it calls for. We all believe in karma and we have to make most of what the cards we have been dealt with. And with all this disease, we know that this doesn't affect only the child, but the whole, all the family members. And we are able to see quickly how this would make us stronger together. If you focused on the abundance of the loving family and the celebrations that you have together, I would say that this was what I see as my purpose in Yash and to care for him and fight till the very end. The 
fourth point is the quality over quantity. Deciding to have a normal life as best as we could, I think was the best decision that we made as a family. Um, for that, what we did was that we continued Yash's education and made sure that he went to the school, the right school, which was supportive. Um, we have many schools at the moment who are very in encouraging and supporting. At that time, there was no school, but I found a school since we were in Bombay called the Steiner Waldorf School, which had no pressure on the child and they would learn painting, music, and have a different way of uh, teaching. Yash completed his 10th and 12th with over 88% marks and he got into BCom honors first year on his own merit. So, um, and of course, we made his life as comfortable as possible. We traveled the world with him and made sure that our family and friends would visit us on occasions and celebrations. We encouraged his um, friends from school to visit us regularly, have sleepovers, and there was more of integration from them all even while uh, taking part in activities. The fifth point is focus and be proactive. Unfortunately, we are, all, we are all aware that there is no cure for DMD. Yet many of us, I believe, spend time focusing and looking out for the research, the trials, and having discussions on it. I would encourage you all to be in the moment with your child and focus on how you can make him happy and comfortable. Um, when the cure comes, God willing, we all know when that happens, it'll come soon and we'll all know about it. You have to be proactive in knowing your doctors, getting his blood work done, the 2D echo, the PFT function test, done all in advance at regular intervals taking the prescribed medication and vac vaccinations as prescribed by your doctor, and uh, in advance, taking action. As soon as you know that your child is having a infection or fever, you must immediately act. Many of your well-wishers will um, give you suggestions and uh, places to go to for remedies. I would uh, discourage you from doing that till you have not done your due diligence on that. Personally, I feel that these don't, they take away the focus from you and your child and your family. So remember to focus on the doctor's prescribed medicines, physiotherapy, hydrotherapy, and fun learning activities. Uh, sixth point is staying positive. Yasha's journey has had many critical moments, but slow and steady, we would overcome them one by one, once he started falling very often. In fact, once it was so bad that in school, he fell down and had stitches on his forehead. And uh, we changed that narrative soon and said that he's our very own Harry Potter. And that made him in his own way, very strong and very happy. We got him his powered wheelchair, which gave him the independence and confidence uh, he took swimming lessons, singing lessons, playing the Casio, and taking part in school dramas. We all would stay positive around him and cheerful around him. And I think I would invariably make funny jokes and laugh at myself uh, only because I feel it would make everything much lighter. This, he saw this while growing up, and I think it is because of having all these good cordial relationships while we were growing up, while he was growing up. And in turn, he would observe all this. He also is now at this point, intelligent, happy and content and having a very Buddha-like nature. So I would suggest all of you to stay as much possible, uh, stay positive as much as possible. The seventh, I feel rejuvenating and re-energizing yourself is very important. And I'm happy and grateful for a husband who can become my punching bag once in a while. And uh, no one's life is perfect. 
our situation no life is also the best but we all have to make it worthwhile and my carefree and highly spirited nature i think helped me in bringing a lot of family together and friends together or taking time out with them and making programs to go out with them or even going out on holidays solo and i think this kind of helps you once in a while if you can do that because um, as a person you as a caregiver you need to take care of yourself also and this also is also important is um, taking short family vacations and breaks which will energize your batteries in every best way that you can i think it's very easy to say uh, that i give up and let's forget about all this and leave each other as a husband and wife i think i think that's absolutely wrong um, and not to blame any particular god or any belief or the situation that you're in and uh, staying positive and cheerful definitely will help in all these negative um, thoughts the last not the last sorry uh, or maybe the last never give up and keep learning so in 2014 when yash was completing his first year exam he uh, developed pneumonia from aspiration so this was uh, he had a short uh, short breaths and he was coughing and he was admitted into the emergency um, he remained critical for 10 days and he was in the hospital for 21 days and at that time what actually happened was that uh, he had an aspiration he had an pneumonia from an aspiration so aspiration as we know is when a person fails to keep the food or the drink from entering the airway during swallowing and uh, this led to him having low oxygen and uh, we hear about certain things that we should not give um, what do you call this um, anesthesia we should not be giving the children that this is what i knew when i also learned things but this is when the first time when this happened to yash for this pneumonia aspiration i got to know later on that we should not even be giving direct oxygen to the child because that was building up the um, carbon dioxide in the body and he was then sinking which we thought he was like sleeping but he was actually sinking so we were grateful to the doctors at that time who then intubated him immediately put him on the ventilator and of course after 5 days uh, it was again another critical situation with his uh, fever his um, bp being very low all the other complications that came by the side when we went completely invasive so you have to um, be ready for that and we then put the tracheostomy tube soon after that so some of you may fear these things but i think that this is a blessing in disguise something that happens and with everyone's collective prayers all over the world yash in 21 days was able to recover having a tracheostomy tube and in hindsight i think it was a blessing in disguise although it was a long journey of how to wean him off the ventilator put the speaking tube have his foods intake related going out but on the better side we know now i can do the suction so now we have learned in the last in, the, in soon as it happened the very six months we learned and we then just took all the nurses and respiratory therapists away and we did it all by ourselves i did it all by myself then my younger son and my husband also eventually learned it so um having the tracheostomy tube also what happened his life completely changed because he would or could not be ever left alone ever again and his um, wrist and um, hand movement became very weak after that he could not use his powered wheelchair he could not play the playstation which he fondly used to play uh, he was reading a lot of books turning the pages for the books was a problem but all this didn't stop us from moving forward i got him the suction uh, the portable suction machine which was very difficult to find and which helped me in taking him for restaurant and movie visits and we also arranged for him to travel 
by air to Goa for his 20th birthday, where all family and friends joined in. So um, it's very important to never give up and continue to learn new things as you go along. Because while interacting with each other, I think we can learn from each other. Like the other day, I heard the doctor, um, I forget his name, the cardiologist, who was talking about the yes, Sarnan, who was talking about the uh, uh, GLS in the 2D echo, which I've never heard before, and which I will hopefully hopefully get it done soon. So these are the things that um, that you kind of learn from each other, and I hope that in some way that we can continue this interaction and each one learns from each other. So I just um, want you all to know that there is hope, no matter what the age your child is at the moment, don't have a negative outcome and thought and keep moving forward and keep fighting and stay positive. Thank you. I'll take questions and you can, and, and then I can elaborate on certain things. I just thought I'd give you a little introduction of my own and then I'll, Whatever you want, I can answer in Hindi also if you want. Thank you, Anu, ma'am. Thank you. That was wonderful and very inspiring. And it was a, a beautiful message of hope and courage and devotion that we all need to learn along with the, you know, as we navigate our journeys. And uh, there was one question that I would like to ask is, how did you balance your personal interest along with taking care? Like, when did you get time for it? Or would you set aside some time for it? How do you do it? Do you have a photography interest in your photography? Photography is like that I sit in the middle of Yash. I sleep with him with his camera. Mostly I am there only. So uh, there is a help that we have a lot of years. So I am very grateful to Santo and the family who are who's doing, do, taking care of the house. I am very grateful to Santo and the family who are doing, taking care of the house. So most of the time, I don't have to do the household work. I don't have to manage that per se, but because I'm spending more time with Yash and uh, sometimes I have to even get away from Yash to take a photograph or something. So he used to say that, what is it? So what if you've seen the moon? So what if you're seeing a rainbow? So he would feel, you know, why is my mother jumping all the time for these small, small things? But these are the things that would give me joy while I would just quickly take my phone. Nowadays, everyone has a phone. It's just easy to capture moments. And uh, I'm blessed to be surrounded with a house with, which has uh, all greenery all around. So we have a little uh, 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 bird feeder where you get to see the birds that come in. Um, so Yash has never been uh, a nature guy or he's not, not really wanted to even step out. We have a terrace where we can go out. He's, he's not at all, ki mere ko bahar jana hai, mere ko ye karna hai. He hardly has any demands. He's very happy. We watch a lot of programs on TV. And right now the TV is not an idiot box anymore. Uh, there's so much of information that they, they have and do and can, they can continue learning. And because he's read so many books, I think from the age of five years old, he would read. And he's read everything. So he, he's got so much of knowledge of everything, not only his knowledge of the education. And um, I would be able to initially take out time uh, to go out and have uh, get togethers with my friends but that was only maybe once or twice in a month which was more than enough for me so it all depends on your perspective what you want, how much you want yeah. Thank you ma'am and if you want to ask anyone you can raise your hand and we will unmute you and you can ask anyone from ma'am please note that we will ask about the medication we are not discussing the medication we are discussing the clinical trials or वो सब चीज के बारे में ना पूछें बाकी कुछ जो भी आपके डाउट्स हैं आप प्लीज पूछ लीजिए किसी को भी अगर पूछना है आप प्लीज हाथ रेस कर दीजिए आपके उधर एक रिएक्शन शैक्शंस का एक इमोजी है रहेगा उसमें से हाथ में हाथ ऊपर कीजिए हम लोग आपको अनम्यूट कर देंगे या इट्स ओपन टू द फोरम रमा यू कैन आस्क टेल देम आई थिंक पीपल आर पुटिंग समथिंग इन द चैट जस्ट लेट मी हैव अ लुक एट इट So while uh, Sumit somebody Kumar, is asking, Sumit uh, Kumar Singh raised hands, you can unmute, sir. Okay. 
मैं मैं अरुण कुमार अरुण जी एक मिनट actually please i request members to raise hands where it will be easy for us to unmute them sumit ji please aap puchiye sumit ji please ma'am main sumit ki mother bol rahi hu ma'am namaste ma'am namaste ma'am actually mera beta bhi dmd ka patient hai wo gussa bahut karta hai ma'am iska kuch aap bata sakti hain हर बात में एकदम जीद और गुस्सा करते हैं हर बात पे क्या करते हैं गुस्सा 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 करते हैं तो ये एक और चीज है जो आ, मुझे लगता है कि जैसे मैंने बोला कि हर एक बच्चा अलग होता है सबकी प्रॉब्लम्स अलग होती हैं सबका तो ये चीज अब मैं आपको ठीक से नहीं बता पाऊंगी कि वो किस वजह से हो रहा है लेकिन अगर आपने माहौल अच्छा रखा हुआ है उसको स्वस्थ और कंफर्टेबल रखा हुआ है उसको खुश रखा हुआ है तो ये चीजें कम होनी चाहिए मेरे को याद है कि यश ने कभी भी हमसे पूछा भी नहीं कि मेरे को क्या हो रहा है और मेरे को क्या प्रॉब्लम है हम उसको डॉक्टर्स के पास लेके जाते थे और उसको क्योंकि वो समझदार था उसको शक तो था कि कुछ प्रॉब्लम है लेकिन क्या एग्जैक्टली प्रॉब्लम है कितनी तरफ कितनी हद तक प्रॉब्लम है उसने ना कभी पूछा ना हमने कभी बताया तो जब वो ट्वेंटी वन डेज के लिए जब क्रिटिकल था जब आईसीयू में था जब वो बोल भी नहीं पा रहा था क्योंकि वो इंटीबेटेड था तब मुझे लग रहा था कि मैं उसको साफ साफ सब कुछ बता दू उस टाइम वो नाइनटीन या ट्वेंटी ईयर्स का हो गया था या होने वाला था ट्वेंटी ईयर्स का नाइनटीन एंड हाफ का था वो तब मुझे लगा कि मैं उसको सब कुछ बता दू कि ये डिजीज तुमको क्या है क्यों है और कितने हक हाँ तक तुम जा सकते हो तो इसलिए मैंने उसको सब कुछ बताया नहीं तो मैं नहीं बताती तो आपको अपने बच्चों को देखना है कि वो क्यों गुस्सा हो रहे हैं क्या उनको आप कैसे उनको सुलझा सकते हो वो किस गुस्सा हो रहे हैं कि डिजीज की वजह से या कुछ और की क्या रीजन है और मैं बाकी... मैं जैसे एक्सरसाइज करने को बोलते हैं उसके लिए भी गुस्सा हो जाते हैं इनको सोने सो सोए रहते हैं इनको उठाते हैं मॉर्निंग में उठने को बोलते हैं फिर गुस्सा होते हैं स्कूल भी उठने को बोलते हैं फिर होते हैं और हाँ तो, तो हैप्पी रहते हैं अच्छा तो ये चीजें तो बहुत इम्पोर्टेंट है कि आप एक ऐसा माहौल बनाओ जैसे आप मैंने बोला भी है कि आपको अपनी लाइफ जितना नॉर्मल आप बना सकते हैं उनको आपको बनानी चाहिए क्योंकि अगर आपने थोड़ा सा इधर उधर आपने ढील दे दी तो वो बच्चे भी ऐसे ही हो जाते हैं फिर तो आपने एकदम नॉर्मल लाइफ बतानी है कि तुमको है प्रॉब्लम तुम नहीं चल पाओगे तुम गिरोगे लेकिन हम तुमको सहायता करेंगे स्कूल सहायता करेगा और तुम्हारे लिए इम्पोर्टेंट है कि तुम्हारा ब्रेन फंक्शन एक्टिविटी और चुस्ती और इंटेलिजेंस आप रहनी चाहिए और एक रिदम होना चाहिए फैमिली में कि ये टाइम पे सोना है ये टाइम पे उठना है यश को भी नींद बहुत मुश्किल से आती थी और बहुत लेट सोता था और बहुत सालों से वो मतलब हम 12 बजे के बाद ही सोते हैं ऐसा नहीं है कि हम स्कूल के टाइम पे हाँ 10 साढ़े दस ग्यारह बज जाते थे लेकिन अब क्योंकि वो स्कूल कॉलेज नहीं जा रहा है तो वो अभी 12 बजे के बाद ही सोना होता है कोई पार्टी अगर घर में हो तो वो दो बजे तक भी रहेगा क्योंकि हमारे साथ नहीं रहेगा वो वो मजे में अपने कमरे में टीवी अपने मनपसंद टीवी देखेगा लेकिन सोने के लिए भी मुश्किल हो और उठने में स्कूल के टाइम इन्होंने मेरे को तो कभी ट्रबल नहीं किया है आ, स्कूल का माहौल अच्छा होना चाहिए उनके दोस्त अच्छे होने चाहिए स्कूल में प्रेशर नहीं होना चाहिए क्योंकि जो स्कूल आजकल हैं एक अब हमारे पास दो टाइप्स के स्कूल हैं जो एकदम पढ़ाते हैं और आपको सिलेबस दिखाते हैं दूसरा एक और टाइप का स्कूल आ रहा है जो आपको दूसरे तरीके से मतलब लेस प्रेशर देके आपको पढ़ा रहे हैं तो आप वो कोशिश करिए उस स्कूल में डालने की जहाँ उसको खुशी होगी स्कूल जाने में अरुण कुमार जी वॉन्ट टू स्पीक प्लीज आप So 
he started uh, falling down after eight very often we would help him carry him but we started using the wheelchair only at the age of 10 years old okay so when so but uh, non ambulatory when yes by by 9 years old you can say so this also i found um, oh. hum, when i have found this while uh, we were diagnosed with this that time pehle to doctors ko bhi nahi kuch pata tha nobody knew about this humko khud nahi malum tha ki kya hai disease aur uh, i did not know of anybody not a single soul i knew who had this problem it is only maybe when yash was in his teens that i got to know about three four people and uh, at that and then of course with facebook coming along the way and getting uh, introduced to the dmd usa then you learn more and of course the internet helped you in learning more uh, but i understood that every child's case is different there were certain children who could stay uh, uh, ambulatory till uh, 13 years also yeah, yeah. my son I'm, is 13 I'm now he is still walking okay but so I, that's i'm just uh, worried, uh, when we will be uh, going into the non ambulatory stage and you know, or something so, so what uh, exactly uh, instructions you are uh, recommending me to take care so so there are two things here where i thought that i yeah is a good question because if, since every child is different every child uh, has the same has a different problem at a different time certain children uh, certain parents want that we should have a powered wheelchair for me that was the best option because i felt it was he was independent he was free he was happy but there are some parents who feel that why should i let go of my arm the son's arms muscles and make him uh, have those wheelchairs which have those um, where you move your wheels with the arms so it's it's on depending on you what you feel is right if you feel that and 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 you should have a wheelchair in place if you don't have it you should have it soon and you should gradually also teach him that he has he is going to end up using it so you have to prepare him for that okay thank you ma'am yeah gitanjali ji aap wo pooch sakte hain aapko jo puchna hai gitanjali ji Yeah, Gitanjali ji raised her hand earlier. Ma'am, if you are there, you can ask question. Gitanjali ji, आपका question पूछिए please. नहीं तो रोहित सिंह जी हाथ उठा रहे. Yeah, I think I don't see her. So रोहित सिंह जी आप पूछ सकते हैं. Yeah, रोहित सिंह जी, unmute कर लीजिए आपको please आपके questions पूछ लीजिए. हाँ, hello ma'am. हाँ जो, hello. हाँ मैम वाराणसी से हम रोहित बोल रहे हैं मैम मुझे मेरा मेरा एज जो है थर्टी थ्री है मुझे अभी डायग्नोस जो है एफ एच डी हुआ है आपको डायग्नोस हुआ है क्या हुआ है एफ एच डी सॉरी शारदा आई डोंट नो व्हाट डी देखिए ये मैम तो डीएमडी के बारे में बात कर रही है तो डी के लिए आपको Uh, मतलब उसके बारे में हम लोगों को ज्यादा जानकारी नहीं है हम लोग जानते हैं बट डॉक्टर्स के पूछना ज्यादा बेहतर होगा क्योंकि मैम तो डीएमडी के बारे में ज्यादा बात कर रहे हैं अच्छा मैम ये तो डीएमडी का की का मैम नहीं मस्कुलर डिस्ट्रॉफी है पर ज्यादा मतलब मैम के बेटे मैम अपना जर्नी बात कर रही है आप उनकी जिंदगी में कैसे मस्कुलर डिस्ट्रॉफी में तो बहुत सारे केसेस होते हैं और उसमें से जो डी वाला है वो सबसे ज्यादा खतरनाक होता है तो मैं उसके बारे में बात कर रही हूँ जो मेरे बेटे को है तो बाकी जो है वो आप अपने डॉक्टर से पूछ सकते हैं ठीक है थैंक यू ओके गीतांजलि जी आर यू देयर प्लीज अदरवाइज वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट पर्सन पंकज कुमार जी पंकज कुमार मिस्टर पंकज कुमार यू कैन आस्क यस मैम मैम नमस्ते हाँ जी नमस्ते मैम मैं मैं बोल रहा था जैसे मेरे बेटे को डीएमडी है मेरा दो बेटे हैं दोनों को है एक टेंथ ईयर एलेवन है एक नाइन है जैसे मैम दोनों का कंडीशन क्या है कि एक का मतलब मोटा हो रहा है थर्टी हो रहा है और एक मतलब एक सूखता जा रहा है दोनों का अलग कंडीशन है मैम थर्टी टू है और क्या है मैम जैसे अभी 
दो साल पहले एक बड़ा वाला मेरा जो अभी एलेवन ईयर का है वो बैठ गया था तो फिर एक्सरसाइज वगैरह फिजियो कराए तो फिर चलने लगा था फिर इधर में वो बैठ गया और नीचे पैर उसका बेंड होते जा रहा है और कमर तो पूरा बेंड मतलब कमर भी पीछे से धसता जा रहा है उसके लिए क्या गाइड कुछ हेलो मैम तो यश भी हाँ मैम बोलेंगे या एक मिनट उनका हेलो हाँ नहीं वापस आ गया तो आप बोल रहे हैं क्या बोल रहे हैं उनको मैं बोल रहा था मैम हाँ बोल रहे थे मैम मेरा दो बेटे हैं दोनों को डीएमडी है एक इलेवन इयर्स का हाँ। एक नाइन इयर्स का दोनों का कंडीशन अलग हो रहा है मैम जैसे एक मोटा होता जा रहा है एक पतला होता जा रहा है हाँ बड़ा वाला मेरा इलेवन ईयर्स का है वो बड़ा वाला मेरा फोर्टी के हो चुका है और छोटा वाला जो नाइन्थ ईयर का है वो करीब करीब ट्वेंटी टू के जी का है तो दोनों का अलग कंडीशन है और बड़ा वाला तो बैठ गया है तो और नीचे से पैर बेंड होते जा रहा है क्या तो उसके लिए करें आप, जो कि वेट कंट्रोल हो आप इनका फिजियोथेरेपी आप हाँ, करा रहे हैं फिजियोथेरेपी तो? करते हैं मैम अच्छा। फिजियोथेरेपी बाहर करवाए थे अभी घर में ही करते हैं मशीन वगैरह ले आए हैं और घर में ही कर रहे हैं तो फिजियोथेरेपी मेरे को लगता है सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट है और वो एक चीज है जो हमने शायद चार पांच साल में स्टार्ट करी थी और अभी तक हम कर रहे हैं तो चाहे कोई भी कंडीशन उसकी हो तो फिजियोथेरेपी को तो आप जारी रखिए और दूसरा क्योंकि हम उस टाइम जब बॉम्बे में थे तो हम उसको स्प्लिंट्स बनाते थे तो वो स्प्लिंट्स भी हमने बनाए जो आज तक पहनता है उससे थोड़ा बहुत फर्क पड़ता है उस टाइम पे वो ब्रेस भी होता था जो एक पूरा एक आपको खड़े होके आपको वो कराते थे वो भी कराया हमने लेकिन ये सब चीजें बहुत थोड़े थोड़े टाइम के लिए होती हैं क्योंकि हर चेंजेस आते रहते हैं बॉडी में और वेट का तो है यश का भी वेट होता था उस टाइम पे जैसे जस हॉस्पिटल में जब क्रिटिकल था उसके बाद उसने लूज किया लेकिन हमने कोई स्टेरॉइड वगैरह नहीं दिए है कोई दूसरी दवाई नहीं दी है और ना ही मैंने कोई रिस्ट्रिक्शन भी कभी रखे हैं यश को ये खाना देने के लिए ये ये खाना नहीं देने के लिए तो जैसे मैंने आपको बोला मैंने उसको हर चीज जितनी नॉर्मल हो सकती है मैंने रखी है अगर उसको आइसक्रीम खानी थी तो मैंने उसको आइसक्रीम दी अगर उसको चिकन खाना था तो मैंने उसको चिकन दिया मैंने कभी भी किसी चीज के लिए ना नहीं करा और ये जो आपको हो रहा है बच्चों को आपको ये डॉक्टर एग्जैक्ट उनको पूछना पड़ेगा ना नहीं हो गया मेरा छोटा वाला है ना मैम खाना ही नहीं चाहता कुछ भी नहीं खाना चाहता है खाना खिलाने के लिए उसे एक घंटे हमें मशक्कत करना पड़ता है उधर कोई न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट है जो मतलब बच्चे के बारे में होंगे तो आप उनको भी कांटेक्ट कीजिए क्योंकि दोनों बच्चों का अलग अलग वजन बढ़ रहा है आप एक का वजन बढ़ रहा है और एक का वजन घट रहा है तो आपको एक डॉक्टर को दिखाना पड़ेगा ना एक न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट जैसे शारदा मैम बोल रही है या कोई स्पेशलिस्ट इसके बारे में आपको जरा और बताए क्योंकि वो लोग ब्लड टेस्ट देंगे दे, करेंगे और फिर उसके बाद आपको बताएंगे कि क्या कर सकते हैं उसके बारे में अच्छा मतलब डॉक्टर से एडवाइस लेना पड़ेगा या या जनरली एंडोक्रोनोलॉजिस्ट क्योंकि ब्लड टेस्ट लेते हैं तो फिर देखते हैं कि किसी चीज की कमी है या नहीं है तो क्या चल रहा है अंदर तो उस हिसाब से डॉक्टर आपको या तो एंडोक्रोनोलॉजिस्ट के पास भेजेंगे या आपके पास या न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट के पास भेजेंगे आप उनके मतलब उनके एडवाइस के ऊपर से आप थोड़ा कर लीजिए क्योंकि ये हर सब हर बच्चे का अलग अलग ये रहता है रफ्तार रहता है कैसे होता है डीएमडी में तो यस ठीक है जस्ट टू इंटरप्ट यू शारदा मैम पंकज जी आप कहाँ से हो कौन सा लोकेशन से बात कर रहे हैं बिहार भागलपुर से हूँ मैम बिहार भागलपुर से ठीक है आप आपका फोन नंबर थोड़ा शेयर कर लीजिए मैं ये कॉल होने के बाद आपसे बात कर लूंगी ठीक है ओके मैम मिस्टर कविश डोगरा कैन यू प्लीज
कविश डोगरा आप पूछ सकते हैं आपको जो पूछना है हेलो हेलो एक्चुअली माई सन इज नाइन ईयर्स ओल्ड एंड ही हैज ए डी एम डी एंड ही इज वेरी थिन मैं उसको क्या डाइट दे सकती हूँ उसकी थोड़ा सा उसका मसल ग्रोथ हो हेलो अनु जी आर यू देर मैम आई थिंक देर इज सम इंटरनेट इश्यू मैम हैज लेफ्ट आई थिंक शी ज्वाइन बैक मैम वील वेट फॉर मिनट मैम आप एक न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट के पास जाइए पहले उनका या जीपी को दिखाइए कि क्यों बच्चा ऐसा आ, मतलब खाना खा रहा है वो सब वो सब कुछ खाता है बल्कि वो ग्रीन वेजिटेबल्स सारी चीजें खाता है उसका वेट गेन नहीं हो रहा अभी तक अच्छा जब तक एक्टिव है आई थिंक इट शुड नॉट बी डॉक्टर को एक बार दिखा दीजिए एक बार है ना क्योंकि मैम तो अपना जर्नी अपने मतलब ना अपने बच्चे के साथ क्या किया वो जैसे जनरल मैसेज ऑफ होप दे रही है काफी चीजों के बारे में बता सकती है बट न्यूट्रिशनिस्ट एंड ऑल ये थोड़ा आपको इंडिविजुअली देखना पड़ेगा डॉक्टर्स के साथ कि ऐसा क्यों हो रहा है किस लिए हो रहा है ओके मैम ओके मैम थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू मैम I'm calling Anu, ma'am. Just a minute, na. Uh, ah, yeah. ma'am, join. Ma'am, join. Yeah, आप पूछ सकते हैं उनके. और कुछ पूछना है का का दोगरा जी, ma'am, कबीर ma'am, एक नाच तो. कबीर ma'am, आप कहाँ से हो? कौन सा लोकेशन से? Ma'am, दिल्ली से हूँ मैं. दिल्ली से. Okay, ma'am. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, sorry, some disconnection, something went wrong. It's okay. Anybody so, else? You have any? Yeah. In call, in case it goes again, I'll try yeah. to get back. Yeah, somebody has asked. You know, did you ever give any Zolandrin injection, like bone density, but I need no. and all that. You know, and have you? And that's what is in this chat. Somebody has asked. So that's what you know. So this is generally a question where many of them have doubts on what can be done about it. Anybody else wants to ask? I saw somebody with Bharat MD with put their hands up. I I only raised hand, ma'am, just to ask. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for a wonderful interactive session, Dad. <laughs> and it was very. Nada ji, a small announcement before we. Yeah, yeah. Um, wind up, uh, yeah. To all the members who have joined, thanks a ton. Uh, Bharat MD Foundation is enrolling members. If any one of you are interested to join as members in our team uh, to do our activities in a better manner, you are welcome. Uh, we will share the foundation's membership form uh, uh, in the groups. If anyone is interested, we would like you to join. Thank you, ma'am. You continue, Sharada. Yeah, thank you, Anuji. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. and i think we learned a lot along the way and i think uh, your handling of and your journey is truly inspiring for us so i um, think everyone everyone is going through their journey every mother is a super woman you all should be proud of what you're doing because you're looking after your child and that is most important and that is your purpose i feel in life so that's it's i think you should just accept it and move forward and don't lose hope and thank you so much for having me yeah very thank enlightening you. session ma'am for me <laughs> it's for everybody so yeah. we learned a lot along I, the I way can, thank i can you, now, thank you ma'am yeah thank you i can now see many people have left also so i i wonder if it was enlightening for them or not <laughs> but but whatever it was it was good that you all have uh, done this because it helps uh, jokes apart it does help everyone a little bit in some way even i learn from you so many things that are i will also learn from the parents the young mothers also so yes thank you so much 
and thank you for giving me the opportunity and continue the good work sarda and bharti the bharti bharat foundation rama and of course the supporting husband murli <laughs> thank you ma'am thank the you the husbands should not be forgotten they are all are there are strength and are source of inspiration also very true very true thank you ma'am okay thank, okay. You. thank yeah. you so much okay good night good night yeah thank bye. you bye thank you all for joining thanks it and good night good night bye thanks thanks rama bahut acha session tha thank you anuj thank you thank you thank you thank you all viewers